show you've never seen but would watch the hell out of. So what we need from you guys is what kind of shows do you like to watch? Rankin Bass Specials. Oh, Buffy. Buffy and Rankin Bass Specials are the two things I heard. I did hear them as well. Uh, um, so what could you go and deal with that? Sure. All right. Uh, so we were going to go and see Frosty the Vampire Killer. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, Charlie, Christmas. It's the best time to suck some blood. Oh, whoa! You're Santa's bad elf, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yes, sorry, Bob. <laughs> well, actually, there is no Bob, it's a state Bob. <laughs> Bits of him, anyway. Folks like you come from the South Pole. You're not wanted here in Santa's workshop. Hey. You gotta take one step behind the other. Another step. Behind the other until you go all the way back to where you came from. But things are changing. The darkness is coming. I saw it in a show earlier. And <laughs> let me tell you something. You'll be one of us soon. Because people don't believe the way they used to believe. Zombies have taken over the minds of small children. Everybody wants to suck some blood or something. So... <laughs> I'm not an American. I'm a North Polian. <laughs> we have a different, different kind of ethos. We believe in Christmas year-round and goodness and merriment and, and all the wonderfulness of the world. Well, we believe in that, too. It's something to crush and destroy. <laughs> <laughs> I will stop you. It's the last thing I ever do. And yet I feel oddly attracted to you. I know. <laughs> I'm oddly attracted to you. I should... I don't just want to crush you. I kind of want to love you up a little bit, before I crush you. Don't be too close, I have candy canes. No! <laughs> candy canes? I'm also oddly attracted to, but they're my weak spot. Exactly. Well, I have an empty hole right here that's kind of a candy cane shape. <laughs> With this candy cane, were to be inserted into that shape. I would become sweet. <laughs> Loving. <laughs> kind. I could change you. I want you so bad, I want to change you all the way. God, that's really love, or at least what I see on the CW. <laughs> <laughs> no! Five days earlier. <laughs> well, well, well. I'm so glad you came to join our little family up here at the North Pole. Well. <laughs> Now, you've only got a few things to be aware of. Yeah, let me make a list. You can check it twice, badass. <laughs> well, you're a saucy one, aren't you? Sure am. That's okay, Santa likes saucy. I know. I've been reading your diary. Well, that's very naughty. You know, I only have one diary, and it lists names of boys and girls across the world, all the naughty and the nice ones. The naughty ones get extra special presents. I know. But, regardless, what? over here is the workshop. Yes. Over there is the reindeers. Yes. And over there is the hellmouth. Yes! <laughs> I'm familiar. I came through, I mean, heard about it. <laughs> this hellmouth goes all the way down to the South Pole where evil Santa lives. I know. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's very important. Whatever you do, yeah. you don't go near there. Otherwise, you might become tainted. Corrupted, made strange, a dark elf. Really? <laughs> I just want to peek. Why not? This is very important. So if the dark elves should come and take over, all of the North Pole would become Morrowind. It's a very geeky joke, don't worry about it. <laughs> I learned there are some things I'll never understand. <laughs> like walking into a dragon's lair and drawing off the breath weapon just to get out of a really long, bad game. <laughs> I like you, but I don't trust you somehow. Therefore, you're being interned at the stables. Interned? Interned. Not as in, like, locked in, as in, like, we're not going to pay you to work. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds... 
oddly compelling. Oh, the, the shovel's over there, the shit is pretty much everywhere. <laughs> but I thought reindeer poop was made of magic and... <laughs> no. <laughs> Another illusion shattered. No, they're basically caribou, they just shit wherever they stand. <laughs> but... Sounds like my family, go on. <laughs> we become eco-friendly at the North Pole. We don't put coal in children's stockings anymore. No! No, coal is bad for the environment. Yes! That's what we give them shit now. <laughs> <laughs> tubes of reindeer shit right in the stocking. Glass tubes? <laughs> I saw that in a program earlier. Well, the glass tubes are for the good kids. It's legal now in California. Oh! <laughs> you have to belong to a really good club. Absolutely. Otherwise, you just get that down market feeling. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, enjoy your time here at the North Pole. We'll send you some cookies while you're shoveling shit. Because Thank you. Lord knows it'll make you hungry. Uh, the shit? <laughs> Got a degree from the University of Phoenix. So online degrees on for-profit colleges make you smart. <laughs> Listen, I want to tell you something. I don't like humans. Not that way. <laughs> you, Fine then. You can just you can just put that human cleavage back where you found it. <laughs> oh. So I get it. You want me to work at it. These aren't the reindeer games. <laughs> <laughs> I know about you. I can smell it. Why is it when you smell it makes me want to smell? You smell like Emperor Penguin and other that South Pole crap. That's right. I know where you're from. Look, Blitzen, I'll cut you a deal. I'll cut you in on... Whatever it is I get before I leave here. <laughs> I'll, I'll cut you in on the evil that really is going to rule the world, and not just because there's an orange man taking over America. No. <laughs> There's real evil. I've seen it. Real evil? Oh, yeah. I God, you have a cute tush. You better stop <laughs> thinking about it. Look, I'm a dark, dark elf. Bad things have happened to me. I've been to the Hellmouth. Well, I've peeped. <laughs> I want out of this hell hole. <laughs> oh, Santa thinks you're ever so sweet and kind. I'm a flying reindeer and I don't get to fly but one day a year. I spend the rest of my time locked in this place. If I had wings, it'd be redundant, but the metaphor <laughs> is still there. <laughs> I want to fly. I want to violate airspace. <laughs> I want to do the reindeer games Tom Clancy style. You know what I'm saying here? I got you. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. I smell what I'm stepping in. Oh, shit. It's not my fault it was Taco Tuesday. Santa thinks he's sharing. Santa thinks he's giving. Santa thinks a lot of things. But the world is changing. People are... People are more interested in... in Krampus now. <laughs> yeah. You like that, don't you? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you do too. I've got horns, he has horns, he's my kind of biped. <laughs> Listen, if you give me a ride, I'll introduce you. Do you mean flying or the other kind of ride? Flying. Good, because you know we already established that earlier. I know, I'm putting them away. <laughs> Alright, fine, just one time. But I gotta make sure we go at night when no one can see me flying or else I get Hold on. I get the strap. Santa's computer is oddly blinking. Oh. Oh. There's a kid right there teetering on the brink of good and and, and bad, naughty and nice. I could just push him over with a few little texts, but... I could get you there. Do it in person. <laughs> not those, not that way. Right, okay. <laughs> 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 Pirating movies is irrelevant because of streaming, but still, it's such a temptation. <laughs> I could watch the new Star Wars movie right now and not even pay $10. <laughs> 
I don't know, but Daddy says that I'll have my internet revoked if I do bad things online. <laughs> oh, whoosh. Maybe I'll get on Twitter. Nothing bad happens there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that my conscience tapping? Tap, 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 window. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> I'm going mad like my Aunt Bernice. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're a burglar. No, I'm an elf. Okay, I'm a burglaring elf. Okay. <laughs> I've um, done some bad things, I admit it. But would I tell you about them if I weren't good? My child brain can't quite make sense of that. <laughs> but if you're an elf, like from like from TV elf or like from video game elf? From the North Pole. From Oh. Yeah. Like like the movie elf elf. <laughs> I'm not a big tall freak. <laughs> oh, cute and small and slightly vindictive. Those elves suck. I have a hard time saying the words I most want to do. <laughs> well, if you're an elf, then do elf magic. Make toys. Make me. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it look like Daddy's special bit? What kind of toy was that? Mom, your mom loves it. <laughs> I want to put a little hat on it. <laughs> no, it's fun. But everything's a puppet when you put a hat on it. I like you. I think elves are weird, but you're pretty cool. Do you want to come inside? Yes, please. Is that like a vampire thing? You can't come inside until I say so? I got a whole book on mythology. Talk to me about the mythology. I mean, talk to me about the mythology. <laughs> so, see, it turns out that creatures like vampires, they can't go into your house unless you invite them. And they, they don't really understand why. I also don't understand why garlic makes them, makes them do... A lot of things don't make sense. Old people are weird. They are. And if you wait a long enough time and you have enough money, you can adopt one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. I learned that from a man that looked like a cross between Luke from Luke's Diner on Gilmore Girls and Lemmy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what any of that means. That's okay. Invite me in again. You have to do it three times. <laughs> I invite you in, I invite you in, I invite you in. Boof! <laughs> Are you going to kill someone now? Can I watch? <laughs> this is going to be easier than I thought. <laughs> Let me just check in with my ride. Gibson? I got a ride one. Can you carry two back? <laughs> No, not that kind of ride. <laughs> Unless he swings that way. He's human. Well, for now. Okay, Blitzen. Bye. So, anyway. There's a woman online with opinions. Oh! <laughs> that never happens. C U N. Anyway, so. <laughs> So, what? Did you choose me for some special reason? Yes. Like, did I get like magic elf powers and I like, become a superhero? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> yes. Cool. Alright, so what are my elf powers? Do I have super strength? Well, you have to do some more things on the pewter there. I say pewter because it's cute and non threatening. <laughs> like, you want me to do computer work? No, I want you to download something illegally. Porn? Sure, <laughs> let's download some porn. <laughs> hmm, what are you doing? <laughs> I, I don't understand any of this, but it looks like it's I, like it looks like I shouldn't know these things. You should not know these things and not Rewind. <laughs> Loop. I still don't get it, but they seem to be really enjoying themselves. Hit download. Download. Oh, credit card. I'll need my dad's credit card for this. Perfect. Hold on, I'll get it for you. I want that power. We'll talk. Download. You know what would really help you do this? What? If there's a song about what I'm doing. Oh. I think it would be it would be very appropriate and thematically engaging. You know what would be really special? If you sang it with me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Getting on the internet, getting on the internet, getting in cute phone internet. ways, in cute and phone ways. Getting on the internet. This isn't working at all. <laughs> <laughs> the song or the downloading? Getting on the internet, getting on the internet, talking to all the hosts, talking to the hosts. Ho, 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 ho. I make friends in the all right community. <laughs> and going. download. Ooh. Recurring charge every three weeks automatic? Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, subscribe to 18 other sites? Yes. yes. <laughs> I feel funny. Tingly? Yeah, in strange places. Is that puberty? Sure. <laughs> Santa? Yes, dear. Santa, something's going on with the reindeer. No, I keep telling you, it's just rumors. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to thank the elves for making this candy cane walker for me. You know, they like you. I they like really that. do. I mean, they're always telling me how much they like doing things for you and caring for you, especially the sponge baths. <laughs> I love the sponge baths. And they like to see you happy. Makes me happy being happy. <laughs> well, we're in the North Pole where being happiness is mandated by law. <laughs> Santa, uh, sometimes I look out over the frozen whiteness and I think, what the hell have I done with my life? <laughs> Mrs. Claus, you've, you've, you've brought joy to the world. Sure, you're barren and have never known the joys of motherhood, but look, there's <laughs> elves everywhere that take good care of you. Yes, but they don't love me and know me. They're not part of my blood, thank God. <laughs> now, Mrs. Claus, I work with families all the time. Do you know what happens to most people when they get old? No, I've never seen actual families. They get stuck in little homes where their families never visit them. <laughs> now, you've got lots of cool people here who always take care of you. Santa. They're better than families. Santa. Call me by that little name you call me when we're being intimate. Big Daddy Tum Tums? No. <laughs> <laughs> First time I met you, I knew my future was right there. Yes, well, the old jelly roll really brings them in. Santa, I'm filing for divorce. <laughs> no. Oh, yes. You can't. As long as it's been a Santa Claus, it's been a Mrs. Claus. Okay, well, not technically, but as far as American mythology is concerned, it's true. Santa, you're an old fat fart that can't get it up and has a weird predilection for elves. <laughs> no, wait, look. Without you, it all falls apart. Yeah. People only put their children on my knee because I'm safe. Yeah. Because I'm married and old, and no, without you, I'm just some pervy guy who likes kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we should sing a duet about it. <laughs> Neither of us really sing, so I think that would be painful if anyone were watching. Ever since I saw you down on in the snow. Ever since you saw me on a hundred degrees below. I knew I'd love you, knew I'd have you, keep you from the world. I knew you'd break my candy cane walker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Those little fucking elves will magic up another one. <laughs> Bottom line is this, Santa. I want some excitement. I've seen the Hellmouth. I peeped. <laughs> An elf told me about it. An elf? Oh, yeah. One of the new ones. Funny little fangs. The reindeer shit cleaner upper. That's the one. <laughs> Gotta work on those titles. I told you about that. Give them a title they can rise up to. Someone once said if you treat one another like artists, poets, and geniuses, you'll be more apt to act that way. But you know, he was actually proven to be kind of a misogynistic fuck. <laughs> But I'm sacrilegious, I know. <laughs>
I know that Hellmouth offers you things like warmth, but <laughs> it goes to the South Pole. It's just as cold there as it is here. Yeah, but Krampus has got it going on. <laughs> sure. Beat the hairy fat guy and go for the hairy goat legged guy. <laughs> With a tongue about five feet long, I know where you're going. <laughs> Somewhere you've never been. <laughs> Conditionalist. There's nothing down there that you want that I can't give you up here. Krampus is nothing. He used to be my bitch. Oh, yeah. You go to the Teutonic Tut Tut countries? He was my little monster boy. Santa's seen a sight of you that if I had my candy cane walker, I'd sidle up to you and try to get busy. <laughs> We're old, and it's cold. You're going to say something else, aren't you? <laughs> Santa? Oh, God, somebody doesn't believe. The last quota of kid doesn't believe, and you're dying. Save Christmas. Oh, fuck. Protect the North Protect the North Pole. Okay, Santa. Only with you can Christmas be saved. I, I, I take it all back, Santa. And only if Christmas is saved can I live. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> because that's the rule for every Christmas special ever made. All right. Summon a reindeer or something, or an elf. Blitzen? This is our chance. Mrs. Claus needs some help. We've got one kid, remember? And that's the kid that's going to push it over or save Christmas. Now it's up to you and me to keep the old bag away from the little kid who's downloading the porn. You follow me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the deal. I'm jumping on. Better watch your step. I want you to look over there. There's a shiny, shiny light. We're going to follow it. <laughs> All the way to the North Pole and the Hell Mouth with the child. Yes. That sounds like a good wrap up to me. <laughs> the only thing that will stop us is if that old bitch gets on Rudolph <laughs> and beats us there. We don't know what's going to happen. In fact, we may not find out until next Christmas or another episode of Binge Watch. Thank you very much! <laughs>